this is home page for smart dashboard in the registration subcategory the total number of students registered total number of college registered and total number of teams registered in demographic there is gender ratio of students registered and students selected there is a year wise filter to it then there is selection test subcategory which represents total number of students selected year wise then there is institution wise subcategory here the map is represented in the form of cluster as there are so many number of colleges let's explore one particular cluster in maharashtra after zooming in at one point you will come across a pinout the similar data can be visualized in the form of tab pillar data kind of thing the next sub category is theme files so every theme has its three parameters first the one who has selected that is pink the one who has completed till stage 2 that is blue and the one who has completed the entire theme so you can visualize also you can see according to change in year themes also get changed and last but not the least in eyrc there is skill set every year there is a specific skill set right now in 2019 there were six skills in which students were trained so let's say in 2015 there were three skills now let's check out eyic dashboard here first there is the registration subcategory where total number of students registered per year total number of teachers registered per year then there is college wise subcategory so here the green pin out represents various colleges next subcategory is region wise so in region wise also there are various colleges but these colleges are those who are going to regional finals so why this is necessary only college name and location this will give you a appropriate location where the next regional finals should be conducted the cluster is more another subcategory is active college we can devise or display this in the form of a color variation or we can say a chloropath here as you can see the blue color represents that that particular sector has more number of teams participated from those respective colleges and the black represents that there are almost negligible amount of colleges that has participated now there is a comparison between registration versus proposal submission so here the red marker represents registration completed data and the blue marker represents proposal submission second comparison is between second review session versus implementation so here the red icon or the marker represents second review session and then the blue one represents implementation i didn't have courage to talk to the people uh, before uh, i was uh, concentrating on only on the coding thing kind of after this uh, we, we used to have a discussion over over discord uh, uh, there uh, i can uh, i can express my my, my ideas to like uh, that i uh, i got some uh, courage uh, to talk to other people and in particular before the internship i used to do projects on robotics and different uh, areas but what was happening in that particular instant was it was completely self paced i was constructing my own drone on the side base and so sometimes i feel like doing it and sometimes i don't so i won't do it but when i came to internship uh, i understand the concept of persistence as well and uh, how proper planning as well as time deadlines how it, how they matter a lot i feel more confident about uh, working with team because initially i used to do all of the projects by my own so i didn't have that uh, like even if if i worked with someone in college also i didn't have that compatibility with them because i was like that kind of person i need to work fast and i want what is to be done at right moment so when uh, you have different group of people together working then outlook changes because you don't only think from one perspective that is only yours you think from perspective of other people as well and you need to take consideration of that as well we had a lockdown and we could not uh, do this project on site like in iit so unprecedented times take unprecedented situation uh, like decisions we moved uh, on to discord we had meet on google meet and we still the work continued on it didn't stop so like uh, what uh, i learned from it like you cannot have an excuse for anything 
when things go on they can go on in any situation whatever the situation is so if there's inspiration there's uh, always a way to go ahead the things the techniques which i'm learning here i'm implementing those particular skills to create my custom dashboard in order to manage and control those fleets so that way uh, i'm getting one step closer to what i want to make as one of my projects it is not just an internship per se so like one six months eyrc then finals then internship and now i am in ey stp program as well as somewhat in the ey nl in the initial stages so it is like a a flood of opportunities and you can grasp as much as you can learn fast and try to communicate and interact with more people as well as i am a part of ey iop that is an international initiative of e yantra and because of that i can meet people from different countries so that's a great benefit like i i can know their culture i can interact with them and uh, know about how people think and how different they are so i'll recommend everyone to like join this once more